Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe, stay up to date with all the latest content. At this point, we've pretty much got content going out every 24 to 48 hours. Either Ben or myself is uploading content for you. So don't stay stuck with your business. And if you want to apply for our Sports Accelerator program and you want help from us, then visit the description below my video here. Number of links that you can get our help. If you want to join our newsletter, you can. If you want to follow us on, on Instagram, if you want to like us on Facebook, uh, or you want to schedule a call with me to talk about your business, then do that as well. Everything is below this video in the description, right? So don't stay stuck with your business. There are a number of ways that we are currently helping coaches. Now, today I want to talk about how to market to sports parents. So if you are in this industry, okay, if you're in the sports training industry, then you know that uh, sports parents are one of the most important parts of the business because they are ultimately the customers. They are the people that are paying you and they are the ones that are going to help you to grow and scale your business. Now, Ben and myself, we get questions on a regular basis about how to grow and scale or how to market to parents how to communicate to parents. Okay, so I want to share with you today six ways that you can market specifically to sports parents that will help you to grow and scale your business. Okay, now being a parent is probably one of the toughest jobs okay, you're, you're, going, to, you're going to have uh, in the world, right? Being a parent is very hard. So as a coach, you need to be very sympathetic to this. And that is why it's really important how you how you communicate and how you market to this specific type of audience. Right. So number one, again, it goes down to communication. Right. The way you communicate to parents. Parents are very busy. Parents have a lot of roles that they play in in a family, uh, being a mum, being a dad, going to work. Uh, cleaning the house, right? Doing uh, grocery shopping, so they they've they've got a very busy life. So communication is really really important. And for you as a business owner, it's important that you understand this and you understand how your audience wants to be communicated, right? Some parents prefer text messaging. Some parents might prefer email. Some parents might prefer a phone call. Some parents might even jump on a Zoom call with you to, to communicate, right? So how you market and sell your business is important. And that is why it's important to know how you're communicating to your audience. Okay, so what are the ways that parents like to communicate um, through different, different platforms? Right, so if you're communicating through Instagram, or social media, right? What are the content that parents are more engaged with, right? Is it short videos that are to the point? Is it through direct messaging? Is it longer videos through YouTube, right? What is it? Is it email marketing? So what's the communication channel that, that parents are most comfortable with and that are going to be consuming your, your content? So the next one, uh, number two is convenience. Right. So once you've market and sold to to your parents, OK, the next bit is how do we communicate in the sense that how do we make things more convenient for them? OK, we go back to how parents are very busy, but if you're going through a sales process with Mrs. Jones, for example, Mrs. Jones might be very busy during the day. Right. So if we want to if we want to have a sales call with Mrs. Jones, then we have to pick a time that is more convenient for Mrs. Jones to get on a call with us. So it might be later in the evening. So you have to adapt your, your sales and marketing process for the convenience of the parent. Now, this kind of comes down to the same thing we, we've trained him, and that you've got to provide a service that is convenient to Mrs. Jones. If not, Mrs. Jones won't be able to take her, her son or daughter to your training sessions. Now, that doesn't mean you have to change your entire business for one person, 
But something we do, uh, we help with coaches is creating different types of services for different types of parents. So if there is a parent that is really, really busy, then maybe having a clinic once a week might be an option for them or once a month where they can come and take their child for really busy parents. Other parents might be a little bit more flexible. Okay, so a more long-term committed type of service might be what they're looking for, right? So being convenient and have offering different types of uh, service options for parents is a way to market and sell to them, right? The third one is transparency. So transparency is being upfront with all the terms and conditions that your program has. Okay, something parents don't like is when you hide certain things. Okay, parents are very busy. Uh, they've got a lot of budgeting that they have to do. Their child probably does swimming. They probably do baseball. They probably do soccer, right? They want to understand, right, what is it the cost? What's the cost to join your program? Okay, what do I need to invest? And for you, as the coach, running the business, right? You've got to be transparent with your customers, right? This is the price of our program. This is what's included. This is the commitment. These are the terms and conditions, okay? And don't hide anything from them, right? The more transparent you are, the more likelihood parents are going to want to do business with you because of that transparency, okay? So don't hide anything from them. Don't keep any, any secret pricing or or later charge them for something extra right be transparent right when you join this is the price this is what you also need to pay if it's the uniform this is the extra cost that's involved so the total to be part of the program is this okay be transparent with parents and they will appreciate it uh, from you right number four is focus on development okay Parents understand that sports training or sports development is a process. It does take time to get results. It's why when we work with, with coaches, we help coaches to set up three, six, nine, 12 month commitments because we understand that getting really good results with clients okay, is something that takes a lot of time, right? But Parents also understand that they're not going to get a result straight away. Okay? Now, if parents think they will get a result straight away, then it's your uh, responsibility to make sure that you're educating the parent. This is where your child is currently at. This is the steps we're going to take in order to get your child to this level. Right? So if they're coming to you and their child isn't playing uh, regular soccer, Right, they they might not be on the on the starting lineup for their for their soccer team. Right, this is where your current your child's currently at. This is the training. This is the process that we're going to take. And then by the end of three, six, or twelve months, I expect your child to be a starter for their team. Okay? So that just gives parents the the mindset that right, okay, this is going to be a slow process, and we won't get results straight away. Okay, so focus on development and parents will understand that your business is a results-driven business. Okay, but make sure you communicate that to them. Right now, the next one is provide free resources. Okay, so this is something a lot of coaches don't do enough of, is providing parents with resources such as confidence development, nutrition, um, college recruitment advice, and just other general areas of both life and sport. Okay? The more resources that you're providing for parents, the more educated they become. Okay? Parents, again, they are very busy and they're trying to do the best they can for their child. And a lot of the time, they want to learn, right? How can my child become more confident? How can my child uh, become healthier? How can my child become stronger? Okay, but you as, a, as, as the educator, as the coach, okay, you can provide these free resource to, resources to them okay, so that they are learning while they're with you. That also provides a lot more value because not only are you providing value on the field, 
but away from it okay parents are learning they're understanding and again the, the more you educate uh, sports parents about certain things going on in the game then the more that they will want to continue working with you because of the value that you provide because you're constantly educating them about certain things because you're constantly giving them information because you're constantly uh, aware of certain things going on that they need to be aware of because this is going to affect their child right pa kids are parents is number one um, priority okay so the more education the more resources that you can provide the more loyal essentially parents will uh, stay with you okay and will become to your program Okay, and the next one is testimonials and reviews. Okay, so to get customer trust, you need to have social proof. Okay, and this is something we always touch on with coaches is having social proof. What parents have, sorry, what players have you recently worked with? What is the results that you've previously got with, with players that you, you worked with? What are parents saying about your program? What are parents saying about your coaching? Okay, and having these testimonials and reviews is a great way for parents to then see what you're about, like, trust you a lot more, and also see evidence of how you've helped other kids. Okay, I don't want to bring my, my prized possession, which is my child or daughter, to a coach which I don't know anything about. <clears throat> And I don't know whether he or she has worked with players in the past. Okay, I want to make sure that my hard-earned money that I'm working for every single day goes into a trusted and good investment. Okay, and that's why having social proof, testimonials, re Google reviews, okay, or reviews on Facebook as well, it's just going to help with that process <coughs> to providing a little bit more understanding and information with the parents that you're working with. Okay, thank you for watching. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content. And if you need more help, visit the description below. Number of ways you can uh, reach out to us to learn more about what we do. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.